Hey, what's up? It's your boy Alex Colley here. Just came from a closing. One of the toughest, toughest deals I've done in a very, very long time. From a family friend referral, her nephew, well, I won't say his name, but he's a professional basketball player, which is pretty cool, um, who actually, so crazy, went to the same high school as me in Maryland, and even crazier than that, we grew up on the same street, although, compared to him, I'm an old man, because he's in his mid-20s and I'm 42. Um, so we probably didn't live there at the same time, but it's just bizarre how the universe works, that we actually lived like a stone's throw away from each other. And now we're here in Florida, Tampa, Florida. We bought the house in Brandon, Florida, which is just a little bit south of Tampa. But, you know, um, so what do I wanna say? I wanna say that I'm pretty good at real estate and here's why. So this, um, you know, so, so he was, he's in the off season right because the basketball season ended well actually he was still in season playing he was in texas and i actually showed the property to him over facetime and the craziest part about it is it was like it was meant to be this house was meant to be but the universe was trying to take it away from him there's a basketball court in the backyard with the colors of his nba team painted on the court so he saw the house saw the pictures online and we're like this is clearly your house so, um, put in the offer, offer gets accepted, and you know, 30 day close, pre-approved with my, um, my in-house lender, Scott Beanstalk, shout out. If you see this, say what's up. And, and everything was going smooth, everything's submitted, um, loan is pre-approved, appraisal comes in, everything's fine, inspection comes back, there's a couple little issues, seller agrees to fix it, because it's just little stuff like the tub won't drain, fix the tub drain. Very easy items. Everything's going smooth. Um, the title company sends me over the title commitment. And although if you're not in the real estate business, this probably won't mean much to you. But I look at the title commitments, whether I'm the listing agent or the buyer's agent, I actually review it because as crazy as it may sound, most of the time the title company doesn't even look at the title commitment when it first comes through. I mean, they'll look at it when somebody says, hey, there's a problem, but they don't review it up front. So I noticed that the seller had two mortgages totaling more than the purchase price of the property, which is monstrous red flag. There's a problem here. Like nobody sells their house and brings money to the table or there's an error or something. So I asked the listing agent, hey, what's up with this? And she, Kind of brushed it off and said oh i think it's just a line of credit that they took and they they actually didn't use the money because if you take a line of credit out on your house like a heloc as most people know them as then the um then the balance will show up on title but if you don't use it then then you don't owe the money but just to protect themselves the lender will put that they'll record that amount because you can just go and swipe the debit card or write a check for a hundred thousand dollars whatever and then um, until that check clears, the money won't even be like spent, for lack of a better way to put it. So they record the full amount. So I thought, okay, that's possible, but it still doesn't seem right. Turned out the sellers got a commercial loan. They cross collateralized that loan against their primary residence, which basically in layman's terms meant that unless they got that cleared up, they can't sell this house. So. You know, thank God I saw that and um, went to the other, to the title company and said, hey, like this, like something, you, you need to pay attention to this. And then, so after they realized, oh, wait, this is a problem. Like, and of all the people, uh, the buyer's agent is the one who made them aware of this. Then, and only then did they start to work on it, which became a 45 day process. Okay. Which, Normally that would be a, a okay. The company had some wherewithal to get it done, not the way I would have handled it, but they started to communicate with the lender, ended up ordering a new appraisal, and 
with the intent of getting that lender to release the subject property, the one that my client was buying, um, so that they could go to closing. Because without getting that cleared up, they couldn't go to closing. So um, this was a 30, 30 day delay expected. The deal just closed today, um, 55 days after the original closing date, which would kill most transactions. But I convinced the listing agent to get her clients to move out of the house, move into their RV and travel. Luckily, it's kind of summertime, so they were willing to do it and let my client move his family from Texas here to Tampa, Brandon, where the property is, move in early agree to a rental amount that is lower than the market rent, which is way lower than what his mortgage payment is. So really it just benefited him. And so he could spend the summer, you know, before you had to go back to, to camp um, with his family in the house. So they just been relaxing, swimming in the pool. I mean, I've seen them posting pool parties. It's funny, they're just in there just chilling while this whole nonsensical disaster is happening in the background that I, you know, I, I only told him about the the, the uh, basics of what was happening that we're going to get it worked out. We're working on it. And, you know, I fought and fought and fought and just kept asking and asking and relentlessly questioning everyone what is going on to get this process pushed through. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that if I didn't operate as relentlessly as I do, then it would have never worked out because they didn't even know that there was a problem until I told them there was and that they didn't even care to follow up on the problem until I obsessively contacted them and asked what is happening, what is happening? It blows my mind in this business how much of my time I spend saying, hey, do you mind doing your job? It would be great if you could just do your job. I'll do it for you, which I also have to do a lot of times, which you know I hate to do, but that's part of the business. So that was a long story. Uh, seven minutes later, uh, we closed today, and I'm excited that my client was, this is his first house, beautiful house with a pool, putting range out, bat, right, putting green, whatever you wanna call it, batting cage, every big, huge backyard, grill, got them to throw in the furniture. Um, so he bought his first house, and I, you know, I think this is gonna be the first of many because we're talking about doing some substantial investing, um, and him funding some deals that I find, and handle the management and flip and you know hope to make this um fellow north county night some millions of dollars outside of basketball and and make him successful on another level that he maybe couldn't have realized without meeting me so that's it success successful day moving on to the next one alex collie out peace